money do not love it. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 6 through 10. Now godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and clothing, with these we shall be content. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and and into many foolish and harmful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil, for which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. As we consider what the Bible teaches us concerning money, we see on one hand that it is the blessing of the Lord that causes one to be rich. It is God who gives us the power to get wealth. It uh, is a gift from God. And yet as God blesses us with it, He has also given us certain warnings because He knows our weaknesses. And one of the warnings He's given us, which we've read in the passage in 1 Timothy chapter 6, is that He tells us not to love money. This one weakness, if we have in us, can actually cause many other bad things, evil things, to spring up in our life. And there is one root, only one root, that that is causing this problem. It's the love of money. This one bad root can give rise to many kinds of problems in our lives. So the important thing is to guard our heart against the love of money. There's nothing wrong in enjoying money, nothing wrong in using it, nothing wrong in increasing it, nothing wrong in multiplying it, nothing wrong in investing it. But one thing we need to guard ourselves is from loving it. Now, how can I know that I'm really loving money? Two things that he points out here in this passage is a a desire and uh, a desire to be rich and which is really marked by greediness. Now, desire to increase in itself is not wrong. The desire for profitability itself is not wrong. If you don't have that, then we would never work towards being successful and we would never work towards innovation and creativity and, and all of that. So uh, uh, the motivation to increase is in itself is not wrong. But when that motivation is greediness, that means I want to accumulate, accumulate more for my own self, uh, that then is a wrong motivation, greediness. And Jesus uh, explained this to us in Luke, the 12th chapter, where he talks about a, a man who had a, you know, his, his harvest was bountiful and he was so happy. He, and instead of thinking of how he could bless people with it, what he said was, I will tear down the barns I have. I will build bigger barns so I can accumulate all of this for myself. And then in that chapter in Luke 12, Jesus says this in verse 15, he said, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of things he possesses. And he rebukes this rich man because his heart was not rich towards God. That means he didn't think of how he could take the abundance he had and honor God with it. So here is a warning for us. Let's guard our hearts against the love of money, which is expressed through greediness, a, a, a wrong way of accumulating things for ourselves and not focusing on how to honor God with the abundance he gives us. Let us always look and ask, look to God and ask Him how we can honor Him with the abundance. Let's pray. Father, we ask for Your grace to ensure, God, that we don't fall into this trap of loving money, of desiring it for our own sakes, for our own greediness. But God, with all the abundance You give us, we will see how to honor You with it. Help us, we pray, in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.